how do you stop your vegetable seedlings being attacked by frost? Now we're all keen as vegetable growers to start growing as early as we possibly can and we're just waiting for those growing months to come along and sometimes we're far too eager and we plant far too much too soon and then the seedlings start to germinate and they start to grow but then you've got to look after them after that point. If you have an unheated polyhouse or a greenhouse or a polytunnel like I've got here, when you bring your seedlings out they're always at risk when you have temperatures below zero. So even though it's nice and snug and warm when the sun's shining, you've got to remember of an evening the temperature can drop significantly and the spaces can get very, very cold. So that means that young seedlings, particularly for some varieties of vegetables, are at risk. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you when there's a risk of frost, what I do inside an unheated polyhouse just like this in order to try to protect my vegetables. I've also sacrificed a number of vegetables on purpose just a small number just to show you what happens if you put seedlings out in an unheated space when the temperature drops too much. So hopefully this will give you one or two pointers to help you try to avoid losing your seedlings due to cold weather, sub-zero temperatures during frosty conditions. Now all of us would like to have vegetables that can grow from as early as possible as you can see in front of me. As I'm filming this video it's right at the beginning of April and as you can see I've got some lettuce, some spring onions, some spinach and there are other vegetables around that are already growing and will give me a harvest within the next couple of weeks. But of course the risk with growing vegetables early is that you've also got the risk of potential frost and our eagerness to plant vegetable seeds can sometimes be a bit of a lost cause because we don't think too much about how we need to look after them when they start to grow a bit bigger or maybe we just simply haven't got the space and we have to put them into unheated spaces just like this one or maybe cold frames where they won't survive. Now that doesn't apply to every single type of vegetable so certain vegetables are tolerant of cold temperatures things like onions uh, winter varieties of broad beans lettuces are also reasonably tolerant particularly when they get beyond the seedling stage. Brassicas are another example, that's your cauliflowers, your cabbages, uh, your Brussels sprouts, those type of seedlings don't mind a little bit of cold temperature. But of course there are other types of vegetables such as cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, and if you're looking at flowers, marigolds, dahlias, etc., that prefer warmer temperatures. And if you were to bring tender young seedlings into an unheated space like this in sub-zero temperatures, the likelihood is you're gonna lose them due to frost attack. So really it's just being aware of what type of vegetables will tolerate cold temperatures and utilising your particular space, however large or small, as best as you possibly can. So the first thing that you'll note I've done is I've covered the seedlings in fleece. Now temperatures last night here would have got down to about minus one, possibly minus two. But the temperature in here now is quite warm because it doesn't take an awful lot of sunshine, which there is at the moment, a little bit later in the morning, to bring the temperature up. But it's the risk of the night time is where the seedlings will start to struggle. And one way of just, just covering them in fleece just gives them that extra layer of protection that they might need just to help them survive. Anything else in the middle of the polyhouse here, such as the lettuces, the, uh, the spinach and the spring onions, and even at the side will be absolutely fine. But where you have got tender young seedlings like this, it makes sense that you try and cover them up. Now don't be worried about putting the fleece directly over the seedlings. It's only going to be temporary and you're probably going to remove it the following morning or shortly afterwards. So it's not going to damage the plants in any way if you just gently put it on top. So I'm just going to take the fleece off now and we'll have a look at the condition of the seedlings after a few weeks of frosty weather of an evening. So as you can see, the vast majority of my seedlings are absolutely fine and they've survived perfectly well in this unheated polyhouse but there are one or two exceptions and I'll show you those now. So you can see the onions are absolutely fine, They're, they are, are very frost tolerant onions and they'll be absolutely fine even outside in frosty conditions. Uh, at the back we have some monge too, I've just sown a few uh, and peas can tolerate temperatures around about minus two no problem so they'll be okay as well. Beetroots are okay. I'm still waiting for my parsnips to germinate and when we get a bit of temperature that'll be fine. Uh, I have spring onions and a few radish here. Now because I knew I was going to film this video I did put a few plants in here that I knew would struggle in the frost because I wanted to show you what happened. This is all about the reality of what happens if you put plants out too early that don't tolerate cold weather and these are cucumbers here and as you can see they're completely affected by the frost. 
so they're not going to recover and as it happens the reason i use them is i've got so many cucumber seeds that i will be planting some more over the next week or two uh, and that'll be a much better time for them here we have the flowers these are four trays of petunias and they're doing really well these are four trays of mesothimbrianthium which is another flowers here and then we have other flowers seeds i've got uh, that i transplanted uh, over here these are elysium and at the back we have some cosmos and even my peppers now the peppers i brought here a few nights ago now these have been at home in the propagator but i put, brought them out anyway because they germinated and covered them with the fleece and you can see they haven't been affected at all by the sub-zero temperatures over the last few nights but it, of course if you've got the space it makes sense for peppers to keep them indoors they do like warm temperatures they'll be fine it's actually really nice and warm in here now even though it's quite cold outside because the sun's shining and the temperature in here is lovely and they will love that just behind them we've got some brassicas that i pricked out last week some uh, cabbages and some brussels sprouts just over here and they don't mind cold temperatures either and there's a few more that i need to prick out over here and put them in individual cell trays which i'm going to do today now these are the ones that i brought over that are the casualties of the frost and this is what happens here we've got courgettes just like the cucumbers really they're very similar in terms of the way that they grow to the cucumber plants when they're first germinating i've got one that i think will survive there the rest of them as you can see completely damaged by the frost this isn't a result by the way of the frost just last night these have been in here for over a week and these have been subject to a few days of frost and again this was done on purpose i did expect this to happen and i've only as you can see i've only used a few plants to demonstrate what happens if you leave your plants out in an unheated greenhouse or polyhouse over here we have the remains of dahlias and dahlias like warmth as well and over here french beans now these had only just germinated these french beans so they weren't very big anyway and clearly the frost has completely attacked them so as you can see in the main the fleece will do the job to temperatures of around about minus two or three anything over that you want to think about maybe particularly for vegetables that need more heat taking them inside and keeping them warm so i'll keep an eye on the temperatures now we're predicted to have one more night of frost tonight down to about minus one and then after that the temperature is due to rise so i think everything after that point should be okay but really the lesson is you've got to monitor your plants and try not to grow them too soon now as you can see from where i'm standing i have the benefit of having plenty of space and i know that's not going to be the case for everybody and i've seen pictures and videos of people's houses their kitchens or their front rooms that are completely covered in seed trays just like this and my advice is start to think about what will happen once they germinate in terms of the amount of space you've got available and how you're going to look after them and keep them warm where needed and if you haven't got the space and you are going to struggle it might be best just to delay sowing your seeds just for a little bit just to give your seedlings the best chance of growing and surviving during colder temperatures so i hope that's given you one or two tips uh, of what to do and what not to do and i do hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have don't forget to give it the thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel for future videos on how to sow and grow fruit and veg and one or two recipe ideas don't forget to press the subscribe button and i'll see you all on the next video